with uh, with all the calls uh, for police reform going on in the country right now and all the racial unrest that's happening, I feel like now, uh, uh, at this time in history, has got to be by far the most difficult time to be a cop-themed male stripper. <laughs> Right? Because you're trying to put some food on the table, and you don't mean anyone any harm. You show up for the gig like, hey, anyone report a crime? Fuck you, pig! No, no, this is not. I, this is, what's your badge number? I don't have one. I got it in Party City. This isn't real. I don't want to show up and grind on you for a while. What, nine minutes, you fucking murderer? No, no, my pants snap off. I was going to do it. All cops are bad. I know it's this bad boy on my headband. Next time. This is not. Uh, I wanted you to choke me. There was a whole thing. I'm not one of those. I'm not like that. Please don't. I feel like that would be some actual reform, right? Just make all cops like sexy male strippers dressed as cops instead. Right? No one's gonna resist arrest. You're coming with me. Goddamn right I am up for cheap bones. Absolutely. I know I have the right to remain silent, but I want to squeal, big boy. So that's. Uh, A lot of uh, anti-Asian hate going on in the country right now. That's horrifying. I don't think that Asians have been this uh, wrongfully blamed for something since the Beatles broke up. Uh, right? Because most of what Asians are going through right now, Yoko Ono went through in the 1960s, right? The name-calling, the anger, the abuse, and that was just from John. So imagine how bad that would have been. That is the, that's for the people that take the virus seriously. Not everyone takes the virus seriously. Uh, Kirk Cousins, Vikings quarterback, they asked him at the start of last season how he felt about playing during the virus. He said, if I die, I die. And Vikings fans went, all right, cool. So <laughs> the virus seriously, but that's just because I think he was uh, jealous of how much better the virus is at spotting an open receiver. Uh, really no, a lot better at reading a defense, the virus, than, uh, than Kirk, I gotta say. I also think it's funny because I have some uh, some evangelical members of my family who don't believe in the virus. I'm not a sheep. I'm not a sheep except on Sundays when I'm part of the flock. Otherwise, not a sheep. Not a sheep. That's bullshit. Okay. I know bullshit when I see it. Now go on about the grown guy getting swallowed by a big fish and then spat out again. Please and truth. Please and truth. Cut the shit. Get back to the. Get back to the truth. Mo was talking about the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard this about the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. There's actually some controversy because apparently that vaccine in particular is composed in part using cell lines uh, from aborted fetuses. It's true, yeah. So just remember that this salvation is being brought to you by good old raw dogging. Ah. Take care of our own. I think it's I think it's uh, very fitting that the people that didn't want to wear a mask will be saved by people that didn't wear a rubber. You know, I feel like that's a reckless full circle. I also don't think it's like there's some controversy right now, and I don't think it's fair because the same people that are upset about the virus are the ones going, "Hey, we're upset about the aborted part of it." They were like, "We're like initially when the virus happened, we're like, well, I know some people are going to die, but we got to keep the economy open. We got to keep living our lives. Yep, some people are going to die, but we can't focus on that. We got to focus on getting back out there, right?" And then they find out that the recipe for the vaccine includes two tablespoons of abortion, and they're like, "No, God, no, someone died." This isn't fair. It's like, no, you can't suddenly be upset about the death now. Right? Well, you, you're perfectly fine when it was grandma. You were fine casting grandma off to die. Right? Well, I got some bad news for you. Thanks to those dead babies, grandma's back and she's pissed. Yeah. Payback time. Payback.
Yeah, which makes me wonder when things fully open up again if we're going to see a stream of senior citizen mass shooters. Or just vengeful old people venturing out in their Vietnam War hats with Uzis mounted on their walker looking for revenge. Going out, how about this death toll, you fucks? Do -do 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 no, no, these bulls are just hoaxes from China. Do -do 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 no, try drinking bleach, that'll make it better. Do -do 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 the flu kills way more people than this Uzi. Do -do 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 Ha, 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 ha.